Hi, my name is Gordon James Klingenschmidt. I'm a Christian chaplain in the United States Navy. My love for the Lord Jesus Christ is the reason I became a chaplain. And my love for young people is the reason I joined the Navy. Jesus says in Luke chapter 10 that if we love God and love our neighbor, we will inherit eternal life. So I have a secret agenda behind everything that I do. I love God and I love people. That's why I'm out here. If you want to inherit eternal life, read Luke chapter 10. And then love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus says if you do this, you will inherit eternal life. You know, in Matthew chapter 28, Jesus commands us to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. You know, teaching people to obey Jesus is the biggest part of my job as a Navy chaplain. When I'm out to sea, I lead morning devotions every day, and I teach Bible study every evening, and then I say the evening prayer over the ship's microphone every night. On Sundays, I get to preach at two different worship services. My favorite thing to teach others is to obey all the red words in the Bible. You know, the words that were spoken by Jesus himself. And I get to travel all over the world while I do this. My life as a Navy chaplain allows me to live Matthew 28. In Luke chapter 9, Jesus said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. You know, serving in the Navy is hard work, and it requires daily self-denial. Sure, I get a lot of great opportunities, like sailing aboard ships and flying in helicopters, and I hope someday to get an assignment with the Marines or the Coast Guard. But like most sailors, I often have to work very long days. And sometimes we're deployed away from our families for up to six months at a time. It's a very big sacrifice. It's not all about personal pleasure out here. But these sailors carry their crosses, and they live a life of self-denial. These young people are the best America has to offer. And I'm very proud to wear the same uniform that they wear. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus tells the parable of the sheep and the goats. Jesus tells us to feed the hungry and give drink to the thirsty, to welcome strangers, to clothe the naked, and to visit the sick and imprisoned. You know, as a Navy chaplain, I get to do these things. In fact, the reason I flew to the USS Nimitz today was to visit a sick sailor and to pray and read the scriptures with him. Sometimes we pull into foreign ports and I lead entire groups of volunteer sailors on community relations projects. This month, I led two teams in Italy and Spain, volunteering with yard work at a children's school and painting a drug rehab youth center. It's a lot like doing missionary work. I love serving the poor and teaching these young sailors to serve the poor also. As a Navy chaplain, I get to live Matthew 25. So this is my life. Being a Navy chaplain allows me to live my Christianity. I can love God and people. I can preach the gospel and teach the Bible. I can travel the world. I get to practice self-denial and live a life of sacrifice. I can serve the poor, and I especially enjoy working alongside the best young people America has to offer. You know, serving as a Navy chaplain, I think is the best job in the entire world. But then again, serving the Lord Jesus Christ is even more rewarding. Do you love God with all your heart? Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Then follow me as I follow Jesus Christ. Talk to a recruiter about volunteering for military service to your country. Or talk to your local priest or minister about volunteering to serve God and your community at your local church. Isn't it time for a little more excitement in your life?